All right, this one's going to work the same way, but, and, well. Would you foil in the x then? So it would be x squared plus 6x? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's what we'll end up with, but, so we may end up with a quadratic on this one. It's not a big deal. So let's start on this. Since we have the log of the same base for the sum there, and we can make this one single log with the base 3. And yes, we have the x, and then the x plus 6. So we're going to multiply these two together. This should equal 3. So I'm just going to change this into logarithmic form now, which gives me 3, base 3 to this power 3. I'm keeping the colors the same on purpose. Hopefully they're helping you guys out. I can distribute the x right now, just to save me some time. So I've got x squared plus 6x. So 3 cubed is 27. And if I subtract 27 from both sides, then I have a quadratic. x squared plus 6x minus 27 equals, now that would be 0, right? Because we canceled those out. And now I've got a quadratic that I can solve with either uh, the quadratic formula, 27. This one should split up, though, so that I can find two factors of 20, negative 27 that would add to 6. I'm thinking of 9 and negative 3. So this ends up being x plus 9 and x minus 3 equals 0, right? So when I solve both of these... I get x equals negative 9, and x equals positive 3. So these should be my two answers, right? But since we used a quadratic, it would be pretty crucial to check on this one. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, it looks like one of these will not work. The negative 9 won't work on this okay we can never have the logarithm the base is not really important here but if the x is a negative it's going to give us an undefined answer because then what we end up with is 3 to the power of 3 equals essentially a negative number and that's impossible to happen right there so if you ever get x being I guess in the logarithm not the base the base should never be negative either. Then we can just get rid of it right there. So x is 3 is the only answer for this one that would work. And yes, we could check that in our calculators, which I'm going to let you guys do. All right, let's use the quadratic formula for this one. I'll make it a little bit smaller so we can hopefully fit it. Because it would be, if you plug it in, negative 6 plus or minus, right? Yeah, so negative b, which is 6, so negative 6 plus or minus b squared, which is 6 squared, 36 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times 27, negative. all over, yeah, sorry, negative, thank you, all over 2a, which a is 1. So oh, this ends up being, well, I'll finish it, we're good. Negative 6 plus or minus 36 plus, uh, thank you. 144 over 2, so that's a negative 6 plus or minus 12 all over 2, and yeah, that's going to give us 3 and negative 9, but again, we can't have a negative answer for this. All right, well, let's, let us do check this one, even though I said we weren't right. So let's say we got the log, let's check with negative 9 just to see what happens, right? We got log base 3 of negative 9. That was one of our answers. Plus log base 3 of negative 9 plus 6 would be negative 3. This should equal 3. So I'm going to use the change of base stuff. So that's the log of negative 9 over log of 3. I'm not going to write anything else on this because right away, if you put the log of negative 9 in your calculator, it's either going to give you an error Non-real result is what mine says, but um, it can't calculate that because you have a negative answer for a positive based exponent. So that's why negative 9 doesn't work, 
But if we went in and changed this to be 3, then we would have um, log base 3 of 3 plus the log base 3 of 3 plus 6 is 9. So log base 3 of log base 3. That's going to be 1, by the way, because anything divided by itself is 1. Then we got the log base of 9 over, I'm using common logs, you could have used natural logs, log base 3, which is 2, if you put it in your calculator. So this was uh, 1 plus 2, which does equal 3, and this one checks off. Now, now we could have done it the other way too, right? Is we could have come back here to what we found up at this point, which was x squared plus 6x equals 3 cubed which we did find to be 27, right? And then, so I, all, all we did at that point was change it to, from logarithm form to uh, exponential form. But in this case, we're saying that x is either negative 9 or 2. I'm sorry, 3. So I can replace x with 3 and solve from there. And if I do that, then I find that it still works. So either way works if... If we're struggling with the change of base stuff, putting that into the calculator or remembering it, then yeah, we can use just the foundation of this logarithm stuff. This right here is a quadratic equation.